The graphical user interface of the Amsterdam modeling suite is a great help when it comes to inspecting and understanding the results of your simulations. And in this episode I want to demonstrate how beautiful the GUI module ARMS levels can visualize molecular orbitals and inspect their composition from fragment orbitals. We will be using our tight binding code DFTB for the following demonstration which will make the calculations run almost instant and as always I will put a link to a step-by-step -step version of the tutorial into the video description. We begin by importing a pre-optimized guanine cytosine base pair and setting up the DFTB calculation for a single point with SCC DFTB using the MIO11 parameter set. Now in the multi-level tab we select fragments and start the calculation which will only take seconds. Once the job is done we open AMS levels and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out and the left mouse key to move the graph up and down. Now here we have the result of our QM calculation broken down neatly in the form of an MO diagram. First we note that hovering the mouse pointer over an MO will bring up an info balloon that tells us what this particular MO is composed of. The composition is further visualized by the connection lines which are drawn thick when the contribution of a fragment orbital to a molecular orbital is major and thin when it's minor. We can also visualize the orbitals by right-clicking and choosing their number. Let's take a look at the HOMO and LUMO orbitals. From the MO plots we see that the HOMO of the guanine cytosine is almost purely located on the guanine, whereas the LUMO is almost purely located on the cytosine. This was not immediately obvious from our MO diagram. However, the fragment approach of the Amsterdam modeling suite allows us to define the fragments ourselves. In the previous case these fragments were atoms, but they can as well be functional groups or entire molecules. Using molecular fragments instead of atomic fragments is straightforward. Just assign each base to a separate region and enable the fragment calculation under multilevel fragments again. Once the calculation is finished and we have opened AMS levels, we see a different picture. This time we find an MO diagram visualizing the contribution of the individual basis MOs to the MOs of the base pair. And indeed, now we can see immediately that the HOMO is located on the guanine while the LUMO is located on the cytosine. That's it for today. I hope you found this useful and as always we are happy to answer any feedback or questions in the comments section of this video.